Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys my skin regimen for clear skin. This would work for acne prone skin, oily, or combination. So make sure you put your hair in a bun or do whatever you got to do to keep your hair out of your face. So first thing first, before I do anything, I love to exfoliate my skin first. I'm using coffee grounds mixed with coconut oil to get a thick paste and I'm going to rub that in circular motions all over my face. Now I love using coffee grounds because it's very inexpensive. It's natural. Um, it gets rid of all the dry, dead skin, and it will reveal all the healthy, smooth skin underneath. Caffeine also helps tighten the skin, slow down aging, reduce cellulite, increase blood circulations, and brighten skin. A few months ago, I decided to include a step in my skincare routine, and I'm glad I did because I definitely see a huge difference. My skin is more softer, healthier, and more clear, and you don't just have to exfoliate your face. You can exfoliate your body, your thighs to reduce the appearance of cellulite, you know, your feet. If you have rough feet, it will definitely make it softer, but I recommend to just stay away from underneath the eye because that skin is very delicate. Now we move on to step two, is face mask. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love this stuff. I swear by it. This mask is the bomb. It's Aztec Secret. You can mix that with apple cider, aloe vera juice or gel, um, or water. But what do I give it that lumpy consistency? I love using apple cider or aloe vera because it'll give it that smooth, yogurt-like consistency. So some of the pros for using this mask is very deep cleansing, there's no extra ingredients, no fragrance, so it's great for those who want something very natural on their skin, especially if you have acne. You don't want to just put anything on your face. It reduces the appearance of acne, it dries it up, it's great for oily skin. It also removes toxins that clogs up your pores, so you can't lose with this mask. One thing I forgot to mention, don't use any metal utensils or metal bowl to mix the clay in. It will react negatively and reduce the healing properties you're trying to gain from using the face mask. You could play around with this mask and add essential oils such as lavender or tea tree oil. You could add honey to make it more moisturizing. So you know you could be creative and make it your own. This is the consistency that you want your mask to be. As you can see, it's very smooth. So you can apply it with your fingers or, you know, grab an old foundation brush. It doesn't matter. I don't mind using my fingers. So once you're done applying the mask, you're going to wait 10 or 15 minutes until the mask hardens and then you're going to wash that off and we're going to move on to step 3. Step three is to apply your toner. I'm using Witch Hazel, which I'm gonna transfer into a spray bottle. I feel like that's much easier, more convenient than you know pouring a product into a cotton ball. That's definitely like wasting products. And I feel like by using a cotton ball, you're just gonna go through a bottle of toner much faster. Step four is to add your serum, or you could buy these sheet masks at Walmart or Target that contain serum in it already. They have great benefits. I love buying these sheet masks because they're super cheap. And you know, just pop them on, wait 10 to 15 minutes, massage that in, and you're good to go.
my last and final step, step five, is to add any additional face moisturizer or eye cream. In this case, I'm just using my eye cream. Um, it's by Clinique. It's called All About Eyes. Lately, I haven't been feeling this cream. Let me know in the description but below if you have any recommendations. I heard Kiehl's was really good. Just let me know which eye cream works best for you, and I'll try it out. So thank you for watching my video. i see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share all of that, okay?